Hello friends, in this video we are going to look into a post um, from the Power BI community forum where a user mentioned that he has two tables and he has to uh, and the relationship between these two tables is many to many. Um, the, the question he wanted to calculate the revenue uh, for each author and uh, the purpose of this video is to showcase that if you have many to many relationship how you can uh, what kind of measures you need to write or what should be the relationship or if you need to make any change in the relationship especially in cross filter direction or we should add a bridge table and then use that uh, for the to achieve the result so first let's look at the post what user uh, put in the power bi community forum understand that and then look into both the solutions using many to many and or using the bridge table let's uh, let's look at the post here is very well exp uh, explained post uh, what user is saying um, what is looking for data model in many to many relationship so he said i would like to ask help regarding my problem i have two data sources author revenue proportion which defines how much revenue split between the authors and the revenue of each book by month since one author can create many books and one book can be written by many by multiple authors this causes the data relationship to many to many my question is how do we create a measure to determine the revenue earned from each author uh, so the user also gave a, a, a reference um, data file as well which is always very very good to work with again to understand the question there are authors who are writing books so one author can write multiple books or one book can have multiple authors so that makes a relationship and then each author based on the book has a a proportion of how much revenue they earn i already have here is a power bi file here i have two tables authors uh, author which has like a author a b c d and the book they wrote and their revenue proportion so in author a uh, let's see if we filter on one author for example so author a wrote a and b and this is his revenue percentage 47 percent and 20 percent in in book a he makes 47 percent and book b he makes 20 percent so that's that's where the revenue is and if we look at the revenue table so revenue table of course the month on which the revenue happened and for which book and how much revenue the book earned so the revenue is at the book level and uh, and the book has many many authors so let's uh, if we create a relationship so if we create a uh, so in author table we have a book title and of course in revenue ta table we have the book title that is a common um, columns between these two tables so if we set the relationship so we're going to get the warning because we have many to many relationship because one author has many books and one book is written by many authors so there is a multiple row for the same book in author table and multiple row for the same book in um, in in revenue table because that book has been sold um, um, uh, in different months so the first thing is the many to many relationship is a cross filter direction here very important what we want here to be by default the core cross filter direction is both what does that mean is author table can filter revenue table and revenue table can filter author table but in this case what we want is our author table to filter revenue table because what we want is to look at the author and look at the books the author wrote and then get the revenue uh, for those books and multiply it with the proportion or the percentage what the revenue made by an author so i will change it to single uh, authors filter revenue so you, you can have the both way a single revenue filters author or single authors filters revenue so i will use single author filter revenue um, okay so once this is done so now we have the relationship many to many but author is the author table is filtering the revenue table so now let's write a measure here now let's write a measure first of all, the, the answer we want to get here is how much revenue a author makes by month so to do so what we need to do is let's first start creating in a let's make a, a visualize um, put the columns in a table here so i have an author here and 
and the book title and their revenue percentage so this uh, should not be sum by default it's going to do a sum but uh, we need to change it to not the sum so that's kind of their uh, author um, uh, revenue is by book let me clean this up a little bit okay so now let's write a measure first so I already have a measure for revenue uh, let me show you what does that measure it's just a simple sum so I have a sum revenue that is from the revenue table that's a simple sum so let's uh, write a measure to calculate the revenue by author so what this is going to be author revenue let's call it many to many if that's the case so what we can what we need to do is we need to iterate over each um, row in the author table get their uh, proportion and then also get the revenue for the uh, for the book so what we need to do is use sum x and iterate over author table and what we need to do is our revenue revenue is, uh, is coming from the sum of revenue that is the measure and now multiply this with calculate max of the proportion of the um, what the author makes now again this question will come or maybe if you think why we're we using calculate and not max because what we need to do is we want to um, each row of the author and put that in the context transition and make it into the uh, filter context here so that's why we're using calculate if i let me actually show you guys quickly let's first uh, visualize this thing so we have a author here and the uh, author revenue using many to many so this is how much revenue an author makes so if i click on author b so the total revenue is twenty dollar thirteen cent actually that's not gonna represent uh, so what we should do is we should have a book title in here as well and how much the revenue a book made okay so this uh, that will be represent data correctly so if i have a author a selected so author a wrote a and b book so and for a the author makes 47 percent and book b author made 20 percent so so basically here are the two books so for from 11 dollar uh, author made 47 percent and from 22 dollar author made 20 percent so that what the revenue turned out to be for author a nine dollar 57 cent um, so similarly if we go to author b uh, author b has um, uh, written three books a b c and this is the ratio and that ratio is applied on to this particular revenue for each book so author c has only um, a book b with the 30 percent revenue as you can see that the total revenue for book b is 22 dollar and it is now 30 uh, percent 22 is six dollar 60 cent and similarly author d um, so the one point i wanted to make here was why we're using calculate here i have you, you have probably seen in the other videos where i use calculate here and if i create a measure uh, simply uh, let's call it uh, revenue proportion or rate so max of revenue max of author uh, revenue push uh, and if I already have a measure and uh, go back to author revenue then I can use that measure uh, it's called revenue proportionate then I don't need to put the calculate because the in that case the calculate is applied on automatically on this existing measure so the row context get uh, transitioned into the filter context so uh, the result does not change and it's all perfectly fine uh, but in case I use I don't use calculate but use straight max here uh, revenue proportion we see the result will be uh, not correct uh, look at that so it's $190 total which doesn't make any sense because the total revenue is $110 
again there are so many videos on this i don't want to go into details do look into context transition and uh, how does that all works but i just want to show why we're using calculate um, if we already have a measure then we don't need to but if we don't have a measure then we we uh, we if we're writing a measure here then we have to uh, use our own context and convert into the filter context and that happens by using the calculate function so again this is what i've shown if we have a many to many relationship again should we use many to many relationship in uh, normal circumstances you always wanted to avoid many to many relationship as much as possible this is a weak relationship again there are tons of videos on many to many and discussed about many to many relationship in nutshell you should avoid using many to many relationship possible but if there is a case that you cannot do that then you need to uh, and you are in a situation like this you need to uh, this is how you can calculate the revenue by each author now let's look into another scenario if we have a bridge table then how would that work and uh, what will be the calculation in that case so i already have a bridge table here called book um, so if we look at that so this is just giving me a unique value for all the books um, from my revenue table so a b c d and uh, i did it in a power query just took the distinct value and you can also use it by the uh, dax function call the values or the distinct um, values of the of the book column so after i created the a book column this becomes the bridge table now so let's go i already have a relationship here uh, actually not first we need to do is we need to delete this um, relationship actually maybe let's keep it uh, if i'm in the bridge table here so as you can see currently uh, our author has a relationship with the revenue which is uh, many to many and author filtering revenue table and i also have the book table which has the relationship book table with the revenue book title uh, but i also need to have the book title relationship with my author table so this becomes the bridge table see this is one to many so one book has many revenue and then also it will be one to many here the one book has many authors and if i try to create this relationship now it will be inactive because uh, um, if you look at the path because if we make this active so this become a circular so we cannot do that so what we need to do is i am going to dis either delete this or disable it make make this relationship inactive and what will happen uh, of course now that is inactive now i can make this relationship active all right so in normal circumstances this is what you want to do you always wanted to use a bridge table if possible and then use that as a one to many and one to many relationship and this is the better design uh, anyhow this now relationship is inactive many to many relationship is inactive now we disabled our many to many relationship so let's use this bridge table and achieve the same results so, okay since we change the relationship let's see if existing measure will work as it is <clears throat> or do we need to add another measure so let's go back to um, to our page so here again we have same measure author avenue many to many and uh, now so this seems to be working as expected as um, similarly previously we saw in the many to many relationship author c has a, a revenue of six dollars sixty cents so seems like this is all working fine so um, is there any issue using bridge table versus many to many let's test one thing so if i click author c now author c has written one book which is book b and his revenue rate is uh, proportion is 30 percent but look at this particular video where uh, we this still shows the uh, even we click on author c it shows all the books um, regardless of what author c we have selected which only wrote book b but this particular video does not get filter and the reason behind that why this is not getting filter let's uh, look at the relationship so if we look at the author author is not filtering a a a book title which is uh, a, if you look at the direction the auth the direction is book is filtering author table but author table is not filtering book title 
so to make the book title to be get filtered because the book title table the or the book table is further filtering revenue table what we need to do is we need to change the cross filter direction from author to book instead of single to both and um, now once we do that let's go back to the visualization so as you can see now author c uh, we selected here author c wrote book b and we can also see the book title um, the, uh, the this table is being filtered and only showing the book b which is written by the author c if i click on author a author a wrote two books a and b and then book title now showing a and b and their revenue and everything is working fine so the mayor is working fine but this visualization is a need the cross filter direction to be changed to both but this is also again is not a good practice to have the cross filter direction to both because that can have the performance impact and some uh, other um, um, uh, relationship ambiguity and can lead to a, a, a weird results so if we want in a perfect model we want this to be single and this is how the my uh, the model should be like uh, you know bridge table filtering our fact table and also filtering our dimension table so how we can achieve the result where um, when we click on an um, author here and uh, seeing the revenue by author it also filter this visual the the show the same only those books which are written by those that author so to do so what we need to do is we need to make a change in our revenue table and force the cross filter direction in that measure and then it will all work so what we need to do here is go back to our revenue um, uh, measure and force cross filter in the measure itself so what we need to do is calculate some revenue cross filter and author book title and why we using author book title because that is the column on which there is a relationship between author and the book um, bridge table so book book title and this last parameter is the cross filter type uh, okay so here it is it's both none one way or if you have a multiple a a many to many relationship you can change uh, which one filter uh, which table so here in this case what we need is both because our we want we want to force in this measure the cross filter direction to both so what would happen again on cross filter direction i already did a video i will put the link of that video in the uh, description of this video do check out that video as well so now if i click on author c so everything should work so now author c made six dollar sixty cent so author c wrote a book b uh, on which it has a 30 percent um, uh, percentage on the revenue and the book B made uh, $22 as in a total revenue so now we have everything working and so the better design again um, if we don't have the option many to many um, it, it we saw how we can solve for this um, although the measure in both the cases remain the same uh, but the preference in many to many what we did is we changed the direction cross filter direction to single and uh, and uh, if we have the option not to use many many which we want we should not use many to many relationship then you use the bridge table and also when you're using the bridge table avoid a cross filter direction to both that is not a best practice so make it a single direction and whichever measure you want to use a cross filter direction to both use the cross filter function and use that in your measure let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.